Hello, hello, and welcome to What is Crypto? I'm Matt, and this is Crypto. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about Matt Fury meme coins, but more specifically, Matt Fury meme coins in the Knight Rider series. I'm going to quickly read through the transcripts of an interview with Matt Fury where he talks about the meme coins in the book. I'll talk about the main four meme coins, and then I'll talk about which of these meme coins I think has potential to make some serious gains in the future. I'll focus on communities, the token contracts, and if the token has any competition. Also, if you've got a meme coin that I haven't mentioned, don't forget to drop it down in the comment section. The more times I see something in my comment section, the more likely I am to make a video on it in the future. Awesome. Thanks so much, Legends. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Now let's get into it. Alrighty, so first of all, we're going to look at Night Riders. So Night Riders is a book by Matt Fury. It focuses on four main characters with the main character, this frog, Hoppy. So having a look at this illustration, we can see the four main characters in Night Riders. So we've got Hoppy here. We've got his rat, Watt. We have Flappy and we have Draggy. In an interview with Matt Fury, he was asked how he came up with them and how he would describe them. So he states that the main dude's a chilled out frog. That's Hoppy. He also says the frog's little buddy is a rat. Um, that This was inspired off his pet rat, Watt. Next, they've got a wingless dragon. That's Draggy. And then the dragon's master is a bat dude that wears jean shorts. So looking at the illustration, you can see that that is Flappy. That is Draggy. That is Hoppy. And that is his pet rat, Watt. There are some other characters mentioned, but I'm not going to get into those ones today. Today, I'm going to focus on the big four, the main four meme coins in the Knight Riders, and that is Hoppy, Watt, Draggy, and Flappy. So the biggest of these is Hoppy, which makes sense as it's the main character. And as Knight Riders did come out before Boys Club, does make sense. I do think the narrative is there. Currently, it's on a little bit of a pullback. It's got a market cap of 93 million. I do think this one has a lot of legs in the future. So the main Hoppy is this one. So token addressed OX6E7. Looking at the token addressed, you can see that no buy tax, no sell tax, tax isn't modifiable. Ownership is renounced. It has a huge amount of liquidity with $2.6 million, as well as the fully diluted market cap being the current market cap. So there's no token dilution to come. Liquidity is also locked. It's burnt and sent to the dead address. So that is also really good to see. So we had a massive run up with Hoppy. We did have a retracement. With meme coins, you often get a 70% retracement. Here we had 83% retracement. Then we have chopped around a bit and we've just started to rip up again. So I like the fact that it looks like we are holding old all-time highs. Now, I'd love to see it hold above the 70 million mark. So 70 mil is around here. So wouldn't mind if it wicked a couple of times below the old all-time highs. But really, I would love to see a new floor being set above 70 million. So currently, looking at the chart, it does look pretty good. We've also had a decent retracement from the new all-time high that we set. So we did retrace 33%. Now, yes, it could go down a little bit more. However, I do think that the Matt Fury narrative is super strong. And the narrative that Knight Riders was before Boys Club, and therefore in his books at least, Hoppy appeared before Pepe. So I do see the narrative there. So Hoppy, main character of that, undisputably. Looking at a couple of the other Hoppies, there is a Hoppy that appeared before it with an older token address. That is my only amber flag. However, looking at this Hoppy, not currently active, market cap under half a million. Their Twitter account isn't active at all. It only has 91 followers. And looking down at their token contract, they do have a buy and sell tax as well as a trading call down. So a buy and sell tax of 1%, not the end of the world in something, but it's still not ideal. So a little bit of a dirtier contract. The community isn't active. So we do have, in my opinion, a clear winner. So market cap of 92.9 million. Next highest market cap is under a million. This is the Hoppy that is leading the charge at the moment. Mild amber flag there that we do have an older one. However, the community isn't active in it. There's no Twitter. There is a buy and sell tax. So I don't think the original one always wins, although usually I do like to pick the original. But for me, Hoppy on F, token OX6 E7, that's the leader for me in the hoppy race. And I do think this is going to perform really well in the future. I wouldn't be surprised if this one pushes up into the market caps of billions as well. My next favorite is what? So I like what not only as what's mentioned in the book, but I like what as well as that it's Matt Fury's pet rat. So we base the character off his pet rat, but his actual pet was called what? 
So I think that's a really bullish narrative. Once again, this watt, looking at it, is the clear leader. There was an older watt, however, once again, not an active community at all. This community has been pushing hard. Charts also looking good. Currently, it's been setting in higher lows and higher highs. What I mean by that is that every time we set a new high, we are setting it higher up. And every time we set a new low, it is higher up also. So really bullish to see that kind of price progression. It's really the kind of price growth that we do want to see. So what I do think has the narrative of being Matt Fury's pet as well as being a character in Knight Riders. So I do think what one to keep an eye on, currently 6.5 million, huge amount of X's there, I think, in the future. So next up, we have Draggy. Token address is OXD12 and ends in 3V94. So current market cap is just under 9 million. Once again, we've been setting higher lows and higher highs. So also really positive price growth. Current market cap leaves a lot of room for potential growth in the future. Uh, so yeah, Draggy is another one to keep out for. And then Flappy. So Flappy is the lowest conviction member play. Currently got a market cap of 1.3 million. So looking at Flappy's address, we've got OX590 ends in FE5B. So we did have an older Flappy. However, that's currently not active with a low market cap. Although it wouldn't surprise me if someone does community take over a more original Flappy here, just as the market cap's still really low. So not sold on either of the Flappies. I think they're both really high risk. Um, yeah, the contract of the other one looks pretty good. There's no big red flags there. So I wouldn't be surprised to see someone community take over that and have that kind of push for the main Flappy. Although I do think the narrative with Flappy isn't as strong as with Watt or with Hoppy. So just to clarify, we've got four main characters in the Knight Riders. We've got Hoppy and Watt. They're the two that I'm most bullish on by far. And then we have Flappy and Draggy. So they're the main four. There are some other ones that I'm gonna mention in future videos. And if you want me to mention a Matt Fury character, make sure you drop it in the comments section below. And make sure you comment your favorite Matt Fury character. I really like strong communities. So the more strength I see in a community, the more likely I am to mention that coin. Awesome, thank you so much for watching Legends. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below. As always, I appreciate it, I appreciate you, and I'll catch you in the next one.